Hello and welcome. Uh, in this video I'd like to talk a little bit about one of the problems you're going to encounter in your homework on the precise definition of the limit in section 1.7. So in the example you're given a limit and you're told that it exists and what the, out, what the answer is. So the limit as x approaches 3 of x cubed minus 5x plus 6 should equal 18. And you can plug in and check that that's true, that you actually get what, what it claims you should get. But then you're told that if epsilon is 0 0.2, our job is to now find the largest possible value of delta. Okay, and so remember that in the definition of a limit, sorry, in the definition of a limit, the precise definition of a limit, we are told that we're allowed to let epsilon be some positive value. Then there exists a delta which is a function of epsilon bigger than zero such that if x minus three, because that's where the limit's headed, is less than delta, then the limit, the function and its limit value, so x cubed minus five x plus six minus 18 should be less than epsilon. Okay, remember in this scenario, this is our function, and this represents the limit value. It's f of x minus l. And these absolute value bars represent a distance. So in this scenario, we're told that this number is supposed to be 0 0.2, and our job is to find or approximate this number. Okay, so we want to find the delta that ensures that we're going to be this close to the limit. So that's our job, to find this. So in this scenario, what we can do then is add and subtract this epsilon from the limit value and compute the distance from the root. So solve the root, solve the equation, and compute the distance from the actual root that we know that it should be. The root should be 3, right? x should equal 3 when this side is equal. Okay, and so we want to find the root. So what do we do? What do I mean by this? So let's say... Um, for L plus epsilon, L is equal to 18, epsilon is equal to 0 0.2, we get that this value would be 18.2. What we want to do is solve, sorry I keep hitting too far there, we want to then find the root, so solve the equation, f of x equals 18.2, we want to solve this for x. And remember, we have a formula for f. So this is x cubed minus 5x plus 6 equals 18.2. We want to find the x value that gives us this answer. So to do that, we subtract from both sides the 18.2. And we get an equation of the form x cubed minus 5x minus 12.2 equals zero. We need to find the roots of this one. Okay, and so to do that, uh, I'm going to use I'm going to use some help because this is not easily. It's not clear how if it's going to factor or what what the roots would be. So we can go to Wolfram Alpha, and this is the page right here. It's just WolframAlpha.com. When you get here, this is what you'll see, and we can just type in in plain English solve that equation that we had, which was x cubed minus 5x minus 12.2 equals 0. Make sure you type the cube, the 3 for the cube though. And then we wait for a second and we get three answers. So you'll see, they were just there a second ago, but you will see the three answers. Scroll down a little further I guess. So let's say approximate forms. I had some decimals there to begin with. Here we go. 3.0091. So that's really close to what we wanted. We wanted a number that's close to 3. The other two solutions are complex numbers. So they definitely can't be our solutions. We're looking for, the, for a real solution, right? So this is our value of x then, the root of our equation that we, that we wanted to solve. We got 3.0091. So we go back to our work here and we say okay that means that x is approximately 3.0091 
Well, remember what we're going to do with that x. So this x right here is going to go into this formula right here to determine our delta. Now, that's the job. So from here, what we obtain is that 3.0091 minus 3. This is going to be equal to the delta for this scenario because our epsilon is equal to 0.2. Right? And this is equal to about 0 0.0091. So this is one candidate for our delta. All right. Our job is to find the largest possible delta, the largest possible value for delta. All right. And so it's possible that this is that this is it. It's possible that maybe it's not. So what what else do we have to do? We have to consider. L minus epsilon. So in this case it would be 18 minus 0 0.2 which is 17.8 and then we repeat all the same work. So our equation this time would become x cubed minus 5x plus 6 equals 17.8 and again moving it over we get x cubed minus 5x minus 11.8 equals 0. And we're going to go back to Wolfram Alpha, so I'll write WA like this, Wolfram Alpha, to approximate this for us. The only change we need to make is that this 12.2 should become an 11.8. And then we click it and we wait, click enter and wait. And this time we got 2.99, go back to the approximate forms. 2.9909. This is after some rounding, but that's okay. And if you want more digits, you can enlarge. If you pay, I guess. <laughs> We're not going to pay. So this is good enough. 2.9909. And that's what we write in here. 2.9909. And remember, the whole point of this is that to find our value for delta, we take 2.9909 as our x value. And we subtract 3. And whatever this equals is going to be our delta. And so this one is going to be 0 0.0091, right? Which happens to be exactly the same, doesn't it? But there's no reason that these should be exactly the same, all right? But since they are, that's our biggest possible value for delta. So this is our answer, 0 0.0091, all right? On the problem in your homework, it also asks you to do the same thing for epsilon equal to 0 0.1, and you should be able to repeat this whole process to do that. Okay, thanks for listening.